What if a single sip of blood could change the fate of an entire nation, the fate of millions of people? A single drink that altered history for centuries. This was the moment when the fate of the Philippines was sealed as a Spanish colony for over 300 years. Mabuhay or in Kapampangan, Luwid Kayu. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kirby Aralio, your friendly Pinoy historian. Today's video is actually part 2 of my mini-series on how the Spaniards conquered the Visayas, which is also part of my larger series about how the Spaniards conquered the Philippines and the European colonization of Southeast Asia. So if you're fascinated by this series, you know, by these untold chapters of our history, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on my upcoming adventures on history, culture, and everything in between. Anyways, without further ado, let's set sail into the heart of today's epic saga. Let's dive deep into the epic blood compact between the conquistador Miguel López de Legazpi and the Visayan ruler Raja Sicatuna. As the dawn of the 16th century broke, the mighty Spanish Empire cast its gaze across the vast oceans, dreaming of new lands and the untold wealth of the East Indies. It was a time of great voyages, of galleons cutting through the waves, embarking on perilous journeys to unknown worlds. And among these endeavors, the expedition led by Miguel López de Legazpi emerged as a pivotal moment in history, setting the stage for Spain's colonial legacy in the Philippines. In the year 1564, under the auspices of King Philip II, Legazpi was entrusted with a grand mission. His fleet sailed from the shores of Mexico across the vast Pacific Ocean, bearing about 500 people eager for adventure and conquest. And this was not just a quest for new territories, but more importantly, a strategic move to establish Spain's foothold in Asia amid fierce competition with other European powers for dominance in trade and colonization. Legazpi's journey was fraught with challenges, from the unpredictable moods of the sea to the reluctance of indigenous inhabitants to engage with these foreigners. Yet, it was also marked by significant encounters, such as the blood compact with the local rulers of Bohol, Sikatuna, and Sigala, symbolizing a blend of diplomacy and strategy, of friendship offered on the edge of a sword. This pact of friendship, sealed by the mingling of blood, became a testament to the complexity that would define the colonial era, embodying both the potential for mutual respect and the dark shadows of conquest. This history, rich with the echoes of clashing cultures and the ambitions of empires, invites us to unravel the legacy of these early encounters, reflecting on their profound and enduring impact on our islands and our people. But this is not just a tale of conquest. It's also a story of resilience and the enduring spirit of a nation forged in the crucible of history. So as the early light of dawn stretched across the Visayan archipelago in 1565, the calm waters reflected the impending change. Miguel López de Legazpi's fleet was on a mission, not merely to explore, but to cement Spain's presence in the Philippines. This venture was part of a larger narrative of European colonial ambitions. But for the Visayans, it marked the beginning of a new chapter, filled with uncertainty and mystery. Upon arriving in what is now the Philippines, Legazpi's crew found themselves in waters teeming with diverse indigenous communities, rich in trade, culture, and traditions. The Visayans, known for their maritime skills and vibrant societies, saw these foreign vessels with a mix of curiosity and caution. The presence of the Spaniards in their domain, in their islands, was not a simple arrival of foreign traders, but a collision of worlds where diplomacy and tension intertwined, like the waves raging against the galleons. Legazpi's adventure, marked by strategic ambition and imperial designs unfolded through vivid exchanges with the Visayans, painting a complex tapestry of early encounters far beyond a mere quest for resources. These early interactions, steeped in cultural significance, hinted at Spain's broader imperial ambitions, while navigating an archipelago ripe with the potential for friendship and conflict. This was not just diplomacy, it was a dance of cultures with each step laden with meanings and the promise of an intertwined future. You know, this moment with sunrise heralding a new era symbolized a pivotal chapter in Philippine history, 
The Blood Compact stood as a bid to bridge the two cultures, the two worlds. Yet, it also highlighted the deep chasms, the deep divisions in understanding and intentions between the two nations. For the Visayans, such blood compacts were sacred, embodying equality and mutual respect. However, for the Spaniards, these ceremonies were strategic, a means to an end in their colonial conquest. And you know, this act of mingling blood represented more than a simple agreement. It was a complex layering of hope, mistrust, and the unspoken realities of power dynamics. And as Legaspi and his crew ventured deeper into the Visayas, they were stepping into a narrative that was as much about resistance and resilience as it was about conquest and colonization. In the unfolding story of the Spanish conquest of the Philippines, Miguel Lopez de Legaspi had to navigate the complexities of diplomacy and conflict. His mission to secure alliances with local rulers and to expand Spain's colonial empire. And if we think about it, Legaspi's journey can be likened to a strategic game on a chessboard. You know where every move was calculated, but not without its inherent challenges and conflicts. Legaspi's diplomatic efforts were met with a blend of intrigue and resistance. He sought to weave a network of alliances through negotiations and blood compacts, an ancient, traditional indigenous ritual symbolizing unity and kinship. These blood compacts, like those with Sikatuna and Sigala, were historical milestones, marking the early formal agreements between the Spaniards and the Visayans. Yet, these ceremonies, filled with the promises of friendship and cooperation, also underscored a stark reality. To the Visayans, these were bonds of equality and mutual respect, but to the Spaniards, a mere strategic tool for colonization. And you know, the Visayas, with its rich culture and strategic significance, became a stage for Legaspi's diplomatic maneuvers amid local resistance and the threat of Portuguese interference. These were not mere armed encounters, but clashes of cultures, ideologies, and aspirations. And as Legaspi navigated through these diplomatic and militaristic challenges, the human and cultural cost of such encounters became increasingly evident. The imposition of Spanish rule, the resistance of indigenous communities, and the eventual subjugation of the islands highlighted the complexities and consequences of imperial ambitions. This period in Philippine history is a testament to the resilience of its people and the profound impacts of colonialism, where the echoes of these early encounters still resonate in the collective memory of the nation. Legaspi's expedition and encounter with the Visayans invites us to reflect on their deeper implications, urging us to further examine the enduring legacies of colonialism in the Philippines that have been deeply woven into our people's history and identity. Okay, now I'm curious, you know, what do you think about these strategies that were used by the Spaniards and the Visayans, you know, in this intricate dance of diplomacy and conflict? I mean, do you see any similarities between this and other historical events or, you know, similarities with what is happening in our world today. I mean, I can already think of a lot of examples of, you know, similar things that are happening in our geopolitics today. But I'm curious to know what you think in the comments below. So let's chat below. But for now, let's get back to our topic. Back to the blood compact between Legaspi and Sikatuna. In a significant moment bridging cultures, Miguel Lopez de Legaspi and Raja Sikatuna of Bohol came together for a blood compact, a sacred indigenous ceremony that symbolized mutual respect and friendship. Despite Sikatuna's initial skepticism, the promise of a respectful alliance led him to engage with the Spaniards. Now unknown to many, including many Filipinos today, Sikatuna's initial distrust of the Spaniards stemmed from previous European incursions, like the Portuguese plunder of Bohol in 1563, a mere two years before this epic encounter with Legaspi. And this plunder of Bohol had left a mark of suspicion and mistrust among the people of the island. This cautious approach to the ritual of a blood compact demonstrated a deliberate diplomatic engagement. The ceremony itself conducted with solemnity and sacredness involved the mixing of blood from both leaders, then mixing it with wine, signifying a bond that transcended the mere political alliance. It was a deep, symbolic gesture of unity and familial bond. 
This sacred act, you know, performed through the sea as the backdrop, served as a reminder of the journeys both leaders had undertaken. You know, from worlds apart, into this moment of unity, the blood representing life and lineage now mixed signified a hopeful beginning of cooperation and understanding. And so the immediate effect of this blood compact was a tentative peace and the establishment of Spanish presence in the Visayas, you know, with less resistance. However, the long-term impact was more complicated. On one hand, it marked the beginning of Spain's colonial foothold in the Philippines, fundamentally altering the course of its history and the lives of our people. On the other hand, it demonstrated the complexity of early encounters between Europeans and the indigenous peoples of the archipelago. You know, where moments of mutual respect existed amidst the dark shadows of conquest and domination. It is also worth noting that this was not the first time that there was a blood compact between the Spaniards and the Visayans. In fact, there's been a few since 1521. However, this particular blood compact between Legaspi and Sikatuna has captivated the imaginations of people for generations. You know, from the revolutionary Katipuneros to the present day, illustrating its enduring significance and impact in our history. And if we think about it, this blood compact, while a symbol of unity and alliance, also encapsulates the dual nature of colonial encounters. You know, like moments of human connection and understanding overshadowed by the broader and darker consequences of imperialism. And honestly, it reminds us of the importance of looking beyond the surface, beyond the surface of historical events, you know, to truly understand their profound human and cultural implications that continue to shape our society today. So after the symbolic blood compact with Sikatuna, Miguel Lopez de Legazpi embarked on a journey that would permanently alter the Philippine archipelago. His initial pact of friendship and alliance with the local rulers, like Sikatuna, laid the groundwork for the Spanish presence in the Visayas and beyond. Legaspi's strategic and diplomatic efforts you know, were similar to planting seeds, some of which blossomed into fruitful exchanges and collaborations, You know, while others grew into thorns of contention, symbolizing the complex outcomes of colonization. Under Legaspi's leadership, the Spanish influence in the Visayas expanded, manifesting in the consolidation of power and the establishment of new structures of government. The Spaniards brought with them different social hierarchies and systems, fundamentally reshaping the fabric of our society. And among the most significant changes was the introduction of Christianity, which would become a cornerstone of Filipino culture. In fact, Catholic churches were built where there had once been native sites of worship, signifying a profound transformation in the spiritual lives of the local population. And you know, this era witnessed the introduction of new crops, new trade practices, and even architectural styles, changing not just the physical landscape, but the economic and cultural fabric of society. The establishment of Spanish rule introduced a new social structure marked by the rise of a landed class and the imposition of foreign governing systems. However, the legacy of Spanish colonization is complicated. While introducing elements that have been integral and quintessential to Filipino identity, you know, like Christianity, it also sowed seeds of division and exploitation, the thorns of which are still felt to this day. And if we think about it, the transformation of the archipelago under the Spaniards was not just a tale of cultural exchange, but also one of resistance, adaptation, and survival. The story of Legaspi and his successors is a chapter of profound change, setting the stage for centuries of colonial history that would shape our people's identity, struggles, and resilience. Reflecting on Miguel Lopez de Legaspi's legacy, we journey through the echoes of history to uncover a story woven with both shadows and light. Legaspi's expeditions marked by the vital blood compact with Raja Sikatuna underscores a complex tapestry of cultural intertwining and colonial conquest 
that forever altered what is now the Philippines. Legaspi's impact on Philippine history is profound, embodying a duality that continues to resonate. His efforts to consolidate Spanish influence paved the way for significant changes, ushering in a new era of colonialism. Yet, this narrative is not without its thorns. The imposition of foreign rule disrupted ancient traditions, challenged existing power dynamics, and sowed seeds of resistance that would bloom into centuries of struggle for sovereignty, identity, and liberation. Today, Legaspi's legacy prompts a contemplation of cultural identity and historical memory in the Philippines, inviting us to consider how the past informs our understanding of ourselves and of our place in the world. The Blood Compact with Sikatuna, you know, while a symbol of initial friendship and trust between different cultures, also marks the beginning of a complex colonial relationship that would shape the archipelago's social, political, and cultural landscapes. And as we gaze back at the vast ocean that carried Legaspi to the shores of the Philippines, to the shores of the Visayas, we are reminded of the ongoing voyage to understand and reconcile with our own history. And if we think about it, the ripples caused by his expedition continue to shape our people today, challenging us to reflect on the legacy of our colonial past. And thus, we are called not to a conclusion, but to a continuous exploration of the depths of our own histories. Like the end endless ocean that began our story, the quest for understanding our past and its impact on our present day is an infinite journey. So let us sail forward guided by the light of inquiry and reflection, guided by the wisdom of our ancestors, as we navigate the complexities of our roots and seek to forge a path of mutual respect and understanding, a path to a brighter future. And as we wrap up today's video, remember that this is just a part of our journey through the history of the Spanish conquest of the Visayas and beyond. I mean, there's so much more to explore in our series about the Philippines and Southeast Asia, so make sure to stay tuned and don't miss out. And of course, a big thank you to all my patrons for making my channel possible. You know, your love and support throughout these years truly helped me, you know, in bringing to life these untold histories of our people. And if you are new to my channel and you've enjoyed our time together, please consider joining our community on Patreon and becoming a member of my YouTube channel. And I'm actually working on updating and enhancing the perks that come with these memberships, making now an exciting time to join and get involved. And for a deeper dive, my books, coloring books, ebooks, and merch are here to take you further into the interwoven tapestry of our people's history, culture, and everything in between, spanning the Philippines, Southeast Asia, and beyond. Maraming maraming salamat po Orin Kamampangan, dakal pong salamat kay Hongan and in Binisaya, daghang salamat sa inyong tanan. See you next time, Orin Tagalog, Kitakits, and in Kamampangan, Miki Tix, and in Binisaya, Kita Aita.